up to endure for uh, myself and Adam Francis. I'm coming to you today, I'm showing you how to simple video on how to make a snare out of a very thin gauge wire. This is 10 pound test, 34 gauge, 10 pound test. And I got about uh, probably six feet here, maybe eight feet, something like that. And I'm gonna show you, it's just a single piece of wire. This is the type of wire you probably wanna carry in your bug out bag, you know, for emergency uh, situations to make a quick snare. And I'm gonna show you how to properly build with uh, just a single piece of wire. Now keep in mind, uh, most people would think, well, why do I need to know that? Because, I mean, just the wire itself, just double back on itself and then make a loop, you got a snare. Well, that's true, but if you want to make it professional, you've done it. In other words, the way a real trapper would do it, you would do it the way I'm going to show you. So this is a bona fide system that's been tried and used and perfected by uh, people that are snare professionals like myself have been snaring uh, wild game all my life and uh, this is one of the techniques I use if, if all I've got is just a single piece of in this case 34 gauge 10 pound test wire now keep in mind even though it's only 10 pound test you, you're not you're not trying to trap a raccoon with this this is something you're going to try you know if this is squirrels and rabbits and small game like that so keep that in mind. This is small, very small game. Rats, squirrels, rabbits, I mean, very, very lightweight uh, animals that aren't strong enough to break it. Now this is all you're going to need is uh, two sticks. You can see they're not very big around. A lot like the sticks that I used for the Ojibwe snare. But this will be used in a different manner. But just watch closely and I'll just try and explain it as I go. You want to you want to watch this. I'll try and get a little closer so so the camera can see the small. It's a pretty thin wire, but when you double it, it actually makes it pretty strong. First thing I want to do is get this straightened out and get it basically doubled. And you want to get it doubled in half, perfectly half, which is starting from the two bitter ends, and then running them down with your thumb and forefinger. There's your, there's your uh, middle, that's the middle of your wire, obviously. First thing you want to do is take this stick like so, put it through here. And you, you loop it over there one time, and you just go one, two, and three. And then that third one goes across the, the original pullover, and then back down. And then you come back, okay. Now what I'm gonna do here is I need to back up and show you how to take this and put it under my foot. The camera probably can't see it because it doesn't go down as low, but I'm gonna step on one side of it. And then I'm gonna come back up with this side. And I'm gonna twist this together anyway so now what I'm going to do I'm going to take this other stick and go through this running end and we'll start twisting it and I'll put it in my hand see what I'm doing here I'm using this stick to twist the wire while I basically keep the other foot on the other stick that's uh, got the wire looped around it and what I'm doing is I'm doubling the strength here Plus, the other thing I'm doing is not only just doubling the strength, but I'm making a texture to the wire. When you're twisting the wire together, it creates a texture along the length of itself, 
which is very important in order for the snare to lock when it closes on the animal's neck or arms or legs or whatever you catch the animal you need that snare to lock and if you don't have if you got a, just a single piece of wire with no texture on it it can slip and it won't lock so this is a this is a way to build your snare in order for it to lock and uh, also doubling your strength man I got excuse me buzzing me today so I'm going around okay now so that it doesn't get too tight on one end I'll change it around I'll switch it and I'll go ahead and do this end because what it does is when you're twisting it this way it tightens up here along its length and then doesn't tighten up as much on the bottom so you got to be careful so you don't overdo it on one side so you got to switch it and I'm just doing the same thing on this end as I was on the other Okay, basically done. And now, I'm back up closer to the camera. Camera can see this. It's very thin wires. So now I have a tunnel or a, a chute. This is what you call a snare chute. What that does is it creates a channel for my wire to go through and not kink on itself. Because what can happen with your self-made, or this is in the field obviously, in the field type snare, is you just make a single loop here instead of this channel that I've built. What can happen is a single loop going around itself can kink on itself and not close properly. But if you create a channel, it stops it from kinking back on itself. Now I'll come back to this side. Two sticks. Put them up my loop now this doesn't really matter that you have this like that it doesn't really matter main thing is you just take this got your channel and you run right through here like so like that and then you have your snare now watch this See how, see how it wants to close, watch. It wants to close naturally, and what happens with this channel, it stops it from kinking on itself. See how it's just naturally going closed? Like that. So it's very effective, and then it's doubled, plus you've got this uh, texture, having twisted it, creates a, a texture along the length of itself, and when it closes, this channel will close, it'll pinch together, and it'll lock on this texture that's being created from the, the twisting effect. And when it closes all the way down, it locks. So anyway, that's basically it. It's a short video, but I wanted to show you how to make a snare for a squirrel in the field with simple 24 gauge, or I'm sorry, I keep saying 24, it's 34 gauge, 10 pound test, singular, uh, if it's a single piece of wire, this particular piece is uh, 10 pounds, so doubling it would make it 20 pounds. My take on making a snare from a single piece of wire in the field for uh, survival purposes. And most of you, if you're wise, you carry a piece of wire with you, you know, along with some of your other uh, bug out kit uh, tools and equipment. I recommend uh, a several pieces of this type of wire go in every bug out bag that that you've got if you've got a bug out bag for your truck another one for your house and another one for your car so you know and have, have yourself several pieces of this wire in it this is important to have survival situation okay thanks a lot for watching hope you've enjoyed again my name is madison parker with uh, adam francis and remember if you're not always prepared you're never prepared
Take care.